Now to a developing story. Violating a gag order could land South Haven Mayor Greg Davis back in court. He asked for the order to keep his ex-wife and her attorney from talking about the Davis' divorce to the media. But attorneys say Davis turned the tables when he did some talking of his own. On your side, investigator April Thompson is live with the latest April. Claudia, this is the contempt of court order filed by Suzanne Davis's attorney. It says Davis's interview with two television stations violated the gag order, particularly his comments on the home he got in the divorce. All this as questions still remain about Greg Davis's finances and what he's accused of hiding from his wife. I'll marry Greg Davis because he's a good man. Greg Davis's divorce from Suzanne Davis has been anything but agreeable. The two are battling over money, with Suzanne claiming her ex has more than he lets on. It's not unusual for someone to try to claim that they make less money in order to pay less alimony and less child support. Memphis divorce attorney Miles Mason has written a book on how to catch spouses manipulating their income. He says attorneys have to dig deep to find hidden assets, even looking at loan applications. Most people want to borrow money. And when they want to borrow money, they want to claim as much income as they can to be credit worthy to the lending institution. And so people have an incentive to include all of their income on a financial statement. Suzanne Davis has subpoenaed records from 14 different banks to trace loans, accounts, and other money sources for the mayor. She has affidavits from other city leaders who say Greg Davis admitted to changing his salary on paper. If a fraudster is sophisticated in nature, it, it can be difficult. Uh, we may have to dig uh, deeper and deeper. Forensic accountant Robert Vance finds hidden assets and testifies in court about real income. He says it's not just what appears on paper. Income can be bonuses, even use of a car. Tax returns tell plenty. If they have a certain level of dividends, that to me tells me that they have a certain level of asset that's producing that revenue, and uh, such as stock or a mutual fund or interest. Or if, it, if it's interest, it could be like a CD. Now, we may soon hear from Suzanne Davis about all these money matters. In this contempt of court against the mayor for violating the gag order, she is also asking to now have the order dissolved so everyone can respond to these private matters that are now very public. April Thompson, WREG, On Your Side Investigators.